Hi everyone, it's another Monday with Mary and it's New Year's Day, so that means we are beginning a whole new year. But for most of us, before we can move on to the next phase, right, we have to make sure that we close the door and leave our past in our past. And today I want to talk about one of these things that we do that prevents us from moving forward. And that is that we sort of haunt ourselves with what I like to call the ghosts of X's past. And this is this thing that many of us do that is incessantly revisiting and a lot of times for some people it's romanticizing past relationships and in particular past partners. So maybe you're not really revisiting and rethinking about how great the relationship was, but for some reason this this ex is now being idealized in our minds as maybe that person was the one. And maybe, you know, things didn't really um work out because of something that I had done. Maybe there was nothing wrong with that person. Um, you know, maybe you're thinking about the fact that n no one else you've been with since has had these qualities or that made you feel this way. And the truth of the matter is, is that this is something that holds us in our past and prevent us from moving forward. And something that I often tell people when they come to me in session and that they're expressing that they, even if they were the ones that ended it, that they just can't stop kind of revisiting that maybe this other person is, this person from their past is the one that they were supposed to be with. And I will say to them, if someone is truly supposed to be your soulmate, Though my version of soulmate is a little bit different. Um, they've already been your soulmate if they were to be your soulmate. So if someone is to be your true one, the one, right? Then that person would still be in your life. There's no question about that. If it's part of a divine plan, if the two of you are meant to be continued in your journeys through this life together, then they would still be in your life, in some capacity at least. Um, so what are some things that we can do to kind of close this chapter and help us to move forward? Because that's what you're really going to need to do to be able to get someone new to come in and to find a new kind of relationship and partnership. There's a couple things. First of all, one of the things that you can do is journal it out. Um, I think that that's the best method for kind of getting it down and out and, and out of this cycle in your head where you, for days on end, maybe incessantly think about them. Um, get it out. Write out exactly what it is, the qualities that you are sort of obsessing on that you find so desirable that you haven't found in in anyone else that you've been with that you want to replicate in your new partner there's always positives right so if you're stuck in the past and you can't get past the hurt and the pain and the anger that you have for a past lover partner relationship then this exercise is also good for you find the positives in that particular person, those qualities that you want to bring in to the next relationship or that you would like to ideally have with your next partner. The next thing that you can do um, is then also write a letter. Write a letter giving real closure to the fact that I thank you, a letter of gratitude, I thank you for what you gave to me, for what we had in relationship, and then close it out. 
say I send you on your way. For some people, this may be then, you know, doing some kind of um, ritual, writing or burning the letter or, um, you know, taking a rock and, and throwing it in the water. Um, there, there can be some real symbolism that is really effective for some people to then physically, tangibly take all that relationship, take the gratitude, and then give it away. Send it away. Get rid of it. Because you need to send it out in order to be able to get it back, right? We know this. So um, the last thing that you can do, but I would like this to be the second or third thing to do, I think the gratitude and the positives are important to go, is then to really spend some time writing it out or not writing it out, but taking a hard look at the non-romanticized one, because that's what's happening, is that you're romanticizing this this ex. Um, take a good, truthful, honest look at what didn't work. And part of that is your own responsibility. You know, part of that was your own piece that you were contributing. So be really honest. Maybe... It didn't work because you weren't in the right place. You were being love avoidant at the time. Maybe you have forgotten that this particular person was um, completely on a different level than you when it came to ambition and goals, um, which can be a huge hurdle. Um, some, you know, maybe the truth is, is that you two fought all the time. Maybe the truth is, is that they had behaviors that really triggered your insecurity and made you feel like they were inappropriate. And maybe they really were. Anyway, these are my tips for helping you to leave that past in the past so we can move forward into 2018 with a new outlook on our lives and in our love life in particular. If you have questions, if you'd like help moving forward or changing your love life or your relationship for 2018, then please message me at facebook.com backslash B plus one. All right, everyone, have a great rest of the day and happy new year to you all.